Good morning, students. <coughs> Welcome to online class. Hope you are keeping well. So, students, once again I am with you. Today I am going to teach you English literature from your Beehive book, chapter number 2, The Sound of Music. In my previous lecture, I taught you about the biography of Evelyn Glenn, the xylophone placed, one of the renowned <coughs> personalities of the world. And today, I am going to teach you about Ustad Bismillah Khan, the biography of Bismillah Khan, who was the Shainai placed. And in my previous lecture, I told you that this chapter, it is divided into two parts. So today, it is part two from where I am teaching you. So Bismillah Khan, he was born in 21st March 1916 in Dumrao district, Bihar and he died in 2006 in Benares. The date was 21st August 2006. So through Bismillah Khan, we come to know because it is the biography, synopsis of his biography that is presented by Deborah Kohli. Through his biography, we come to know the history of Shanai. There was an instrument known as Pungi. It was played during Mughal period in the royal court. And it was a custom, it was a tradition. But when Aurangzeb, he became the emperor of India, he was not at all liking the sound of Pungi. According to Aurangzeb, the sound was too shrill, too harsh, not at all sweet. That is why he banned Pungi in his court. Then one barber, he thought to modify the Pungi so that people would like the sound and it will be allowed to play in the court. So he modified the Pungi and the sound of that modified Pungi, it was sweet and melodious and it was named as Shahnai. That is the history of Shahnai. So Bismillah Khan, he inherited the quality as the Shahnai placed because his ancestors, they also belong to music field. His grandfather, his father, his uncle, they were all expert and skilled in music and musical instruments. So initially Bismillah Khan, he took training or lesson from his uncle. He was under the guidance of his uncle and intense practice was going on. He was giving an intense effort just like Evelyn. Intense effort, whole day practice, hours and hours of practice on the bank of Ganga because later on he migrated to Banaras for his Talim. So his effort, his practice made him world famous or famous, made him famous or popular. One of the renowned or popular personalities of the world. So under his uncle's training, when he was a trainer, since that time, he was getting offer to perform local stages. And later on, when he became expert, he, he was getting offer from abroad. He traveled many countries of the world, attended many concerts, even from America. He got offer, offer from America and he attended 
a program which was which was given by him in Lincoln Center Hall one of the famous venue in United States one of the famous place in United States where concerts take place there also bismillah khan performed it was quite prestigious phenomena and later on from united states he got offer of a good position or good rank but bismillah khan he refused it because he was a true indian he wanted to stay or he wanted to take his last breath in his motherland that is why he had refused the offer on behalf of america so on 15th august 1947 bismillah khan was the first indian to perform or to play shanai to greet his nation 15th august 1947 it was really a very prestigious ma- phenomena a prestigious matter because he was the first indian to play shanai on 15th august 1947 to greet his nation or free nation thus we come to know through this story i am just discussing the synopsis of the story because students many students you don't have the textbook so what is the content of the story i am just telling you so through this story or the biography we come to know about bismillah khan that what kind of person he was he was a real indian he was totally dedicated citizen of india he was totally dedicated to his profession or to his art to his skill that is that is shahnai and his effort it his dis- determination his practice on the bank of ganga hours and hours of practice made him so popular so guys the biography or the story ends with the tone or note that bismillah khan he was a true indian he was not at all a greedy person he turned down the offer of united states who offered him good position good for post in the field of music but he did not accept it so guys on the basis of today's lecture or today's chapter i am just today giving you some words i don't want to because i don't want to exaggerate it i don't want to exaggerate the chapter or i don't want to exaggerate the lecture also so only some words i am giving you from both the parts so from the first part guys you note down the words